What's going on guys, Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, we're going to be looking at the PC games. Now PC games in all honesty is a pretty big deal. I'm telling, I'm talking, it's always constantly updated daily. Every day I have a couple of sites, I look at them, and then any of the newest games that look interesting or look great for an arcade build, I always get them. So uh, right now, currently, we are at 208 PC games. When I started, like a, you know, a couple of years back, I only had like 30 or 40. But now, as you can see, we're at 208 games. Might not sound like a lot of games, but it does take up a lot of data for these PC games. Some games are, you know, one gig. Some games are like 80. So you know, depending on the game, it really determines how many gigs and how big the file is. Um, again, just wanted to, to show off a couple of things. As far as PC games, the real quick thing I do want to make a, a quick note, even if you don't purchase a drive for me and all that, do yourself a favor and just go to the Epic Game Store and sign up for the Epic Games and also probably Blizzard. Uh, just go ahead, sign up. The big th reason I say that is because Epic Games, um, basically now they keep giving away free games every two months. And on my personal Epic Games list, I do have Grand Theft Auto V, and you are able to play that online. Again, every month they usually give out two games. They're free games, so you might as well take the minute and just do it. Literally, free games. You can't complain about free. Do it. Do yourself a favor. Just get it. Uh, so now, real quick, as far as like the PC games, on Eugene's Drive in particular, uh, I have my PC library basically into two separate drives. We have an SSD drive, which is his genius idea. I'll tell you about it real quick. We have an SSD drive set up with 154 PC games. <laughs> really, all the current 2020 games are on it. And then I do have a regular 10 terabyte non-SSD hard drive that's holding about 60 other PC games. Um, so as you can see right now, like I'm launching a regular F drive. So it's taking a second because it's not a solid state drive. Nothing major, but uh, I kind of walked away from the PC for about an hour. So after uh, 30 minutes of no use, the drive kind of just goes into sleep mode. Um, so that's the only reason why you would see that. Uh, basically, the way I have it set up is that all the games that are not graphic intense, I have them inside of basically the non-SSD drive. The main games that are graphic intense and really the current gen stuff I have in his SSD drive. So a couple games, so for example, like Street Fighter V, um, Tekken 7, bo booting those games on a regular non-SSD drive take about maybe two to three minutes to launch. Basically, when you launch the game, it gives you this big picture. It's just like, you know, an executable file that it's launching these programs and it's, it's really launching the game. On a non-SSD drive, it, that literally takes about two minutes. On this SSD drive, if I launch Tekken 7, it takes about maybe 25 seconds. So definitely a big improvement as far as launch times. SSDs are a very big deal. Now, real quick, just to show you, um, I'll go into like, I'll do it real quick for the key mapper. Um, PC games are playable on the arcade sticks and mostly on the Xbox controllers. Some games are keyboard and mouse only. Um, so the big thing is that I do have all the PC fighting games set to the arcade sticks, but you could also launch them with the Xbox controller. Some games don't recognize controllers. And for that reason, I have to put Joy to Key. I have to make its own kind of, um, uh, what's the word I want to use? Its own kind of profile so that that specific game will work with the arcade sticks. Um, so again, in depth, I have all the PC games now working. Before on the Budget Beast, I had a little bit of a confusion where it would think the arcade stick was a keyboard, but it was also an Xbox controller, and it would kind of switch back and forth. I no longer have that issue, so no worries with that. Real quick on the desktop, I do have a PC games folder, and in this is basically shortcuts to all the PC games. So if you wanted to just go into PopCap and launch that game, you could do that. You want to do the Big Fish games, you could do that. But the big deal I have about this is that I do have the online accessible folder. The games that are in here are not inside of Hyperspin. I do not have these in Hyperspin only because to play these games, 
you do need the launcher, which is either Battle.net for Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, Warzone. Fortnite, you need the Epic Games launcher. So launching it within Hyperspin is a huge nightmare. I don't have these games inside of Hyperspin. If you do want to play online games, you just got to launch it like a regular PC game would. So we do have, for example, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. That's the current one. Um, that is within Battle.net, which is Blizzard. Sorry about that. That is within Battle.net, which is Blizzard. And Blizzard is doing Warzone for free. You don't have to pay for Warzone. So another reason why you should just hop on this and download it and just have the game in your library. We'll launch that later on. But as far as, again, if Epic Games Launcher, if we launch that, the biggest thing is that you do have Grand Theft Auto V, and this is playable online. The only thing you do have to keep in mind is that this is my personal account for Game Case Arcades. So Eugene has it, Morris has it in his bar top, and other people have it in their drives. What does that mean? Basically, if Eugene creates a woman character for online, that woman character is also on Morris's drive and so on and so on, which is why I highly suggest that you just take a minute and just get on board with this. Unfortunately, you cannot get Grand Theft Auto V anymore for free. In all honesty, as far as Grand Theft Auto V, there's really two versions of Grand Theft Auto V on my PC. So I have Grand Theft Auto V within Epic Games and I have Grand Theft Auto V separate that you can't play online that's in Hyperspin. I might remove it from Hyperspin only because now... I do have Grand Theft Auto V here, but you know some people might not want to do Epic Games launchers. I do sell partially stuff that people don't want to go online with, so I don't want to remove Grand Theft Auto V from my main Hyperspin library that works offline. Um, so enough of that. Again, a lot of current gen PC gaming. I'm going to launch up Hyperspin. We'll launch a couple of games, a couple of current gen stuff. The newest one, I'm going to be using the keyboard right now. I do have the bar top next to me. The newest one that I just got is Samurai Showdown. This game just came out. This is the 2020 version, so the graphics on it are all up to date. It's pretty cool and great stuff. You, you hear the Windows chime. Basically, that's Xbox 360 CE launching. So my arcade sticks work with all the fighting games. And we're going to do that right now with this one. So again, I literally have my right hand here. We're going to just let the cutscene go through. And I can press any button. And again, I have full control using the arcade sticks. So I could go left and right. And again, it does think that my controller is a Xbox controller. So I'll do versus. I'll set player two. As you can see, I just did it with player two's um, arcade stick. So... We'll do that. We'll pick some random person. And I'll bump up the volume. And again, pretty cool game. 2020. The graphics on this. Eugene's PC is just a beast of a PC. So playing 1080p, I'm very sure this is pushing more than 60 frames per second on this. Same thing with Street Fighter V, Tekken 7, and all that. So again, I have two player acts on this. So that's player one. This is player two. And again, it acts like a Xbox control. So I accidentally pressed player one start. I'm gonna go back and this is a six button game. So one, two, three, four. Let's let her get up. Five and six, which is a block. So definitely a very cool game. Brand new, again, Samurai Showdown. Wow. Okay, I won. <laughs> I thought I unlocked a uh, super on that. But my player 2 does have a super enabled. Let's see. So, cool. Now, the big thing of the queue mind about PC games is that you have to exit the game in menu there's no escape key out you have to actually go back to the main menu and sometimes you can see there it says like escape this game you can press i believe the b button yes the b button on on which is button five on the arcade stick and you exit out and now we are back into hyper uh another game i just downloaded was neon abyss 
I believe that was really a Nintendo Switch game. But apparently this game, you do need a keyboard and mouse for this game. Doesn't work with Xbox controllers. Uh, it is one of those games that's like you walk, but it's also you use the mouse to shoot. Uh, I do like retro style games. So as you can see, like I have a cur- like a, a crosshair. I did think that this game was, I was able to use it with the aim tracks, but you do need, you know, WASD to walk and stuff. So again, this just came out. Unfortunately, there are a couple of games that you do need a keyboard and mouse for. I mean, the keyboard and mouse is always handy. It's very small. It's awesome. Um, it's always good to have a keyboard and mouse. So why not have it? For example, we do have Command and Conquer, which I'll launch that for Eugene so he could see that, the remastered one. And, uh, you know, you do need a keyboard and mouse for that. So right now, literally, I have the keyboard and mouse on my lap. I have the mouse in my right hand. And as you can see, I have a cursor here. So I have the space. Very cool, like, little thing. I like retro games like this, 8-bit games. I, I really like these games like that. So I'm holding the mouse button. Again, really cool. And again, this is the most, most frequently thing that I do always keep up to date. Terry. Oh. <laughs> oh. How am I supposed to get this stretch first? <laughs> Literally using a cat. Oh. Oh, I had to do that. Derp. <laughs> oh, well, I don't need help. Use bomb. So F. Oops. do a long uh, a long press on that so again cool game neon abyss if i press escape see you have to go through this kind of menu um to escape out so let's see if i could click on system main menu and now i'd be able to exit this game again it is a pc game you do have to exit it accordingly big thing i do want to make a note of is that i do have a lot of racing games now um, many people do like the racing games, like NASCAR Heat 5 is a brand new game, I just got that. Uh, main thing though I did want to show off was like Tekken. Uh, just to show you, um, the thing I'm talking about where it has like this, it needs to launch this thing. You're going to see a big Tekken 7 logo, so this. This right here on a regular hard drive, this would hang for like two minutes. It's not that it hangs and it froze, it's just this game for some reason it, it takes a while to boot up. I guess it's very graphic intense. I don't know. There's a bunch of stuff being loaded. But right now, again, this game, Tekken 7, we do have launching from an SSD. And right now, yes, some people might be like, oh my god, you know, this is taking forever. Trust me, if you saw that game on a regular hard drive, forget it. It literally would take two minutes. So, same thing. Anytime you hear the little windows bling, it basically means that I do have uh, Xbox 360 CE running. And as you can see right now, I'm using the arcade sticks to kind of navigate through. Now, this game was hard. Not hard. It took a couple of steps. This uses the D-pad to navigate. And the analog stick to um, play. So you have to basically, you know, set it up accordingly. So player one start. Oops, I went into the wrong one. I'm going to go back. Because I'm in arcade battle. I didn't do two player. 
offline. Let's do versus battle. So player one start, player two start. Let's do Akuma. Very cool. Player two gets to pick the um, arena. I'm trying to bump up my personal volume. Nice. Again, 1080p set. Graphics are beautiful on this machine. Round one. Fight. So just to show you again, left, right, up, and down. Tekken is a four button game, so it's one, two, four, and five. Now what's weird is like you don't get hit unless you're moving. So if I'm moving player two, then I could get hit. And again, it's using it as a regular uh, Xbox controller. So I could press start. I could literally exit, return to main menu, and we'll be back. Big thing again, this is a PC game. So you have to go to the menu. You have to press quit and press yes on quit. And now you're back. Again, I put a lot of games that were very arcade friendly, some kind of games where you could be like, you know, standing with four people and hanging out. Um, a most recent one, which is really cool, it was called Moving Out. So I got Mafia. Keep in mind that we do have also, you know, high HD logos. That's another thing with PC games. I don't have any video files. I just have logos. Uh, I really don't have time to download video files. But, like, this is a new one. Moving out. This you should definitely use the um, Xbox controller for. So I'm literally going to turn my Xbox controller on now. And it doesn't matter when you turn it on. The game will just recognize that you turned on a controller. And again, luckily this is a PC Windows game. So there's no configuration needed. It recognizes all Smooth the moves. Xbox you controllers. Have nothing to lose except all your stuff. So again, I could do play. I could do four players on this. So we do have six Xbox controllers, and your friends could join in on it. This type of game you don't want to play with the arcade sticks. I think this utilizes all eight buttons and the analog sticks and all you're that. So you're probably asking yourself, "Gee, I don't know anything about moving furniture." Well, you're in luck. This training module will provide. I played this with my wife. She wasn't a fan of it, but I liked it. I thought it was a really cool game. Up is an so we need LT. We've tried kicking them, but this way is much. Did you know jumping, moving solo? No problem. Lift heavy objects with your back. You can also throw items, but don't worry. These boxes are trained for this. So now imagine like trying to hold out the left trigger. Or with the moves, A, it's throwing objects. It's, it's very difficult. Every mover's arch enemy. Fragile objects. Don't drop these <laughs> sensitive doodads. Same thing with like overcooked. You can't play that with Slap the uh, arcade sticks. If he gets too close. He was friendly. Who you gonna call? <laughs> Take that, mailbox. Always focus on what needs to be moved next. You're almost there. I believe in you. Oh, I just walked into a, a rake. So, I mean, there you go. There you have it. So this is, again, moving out. I have to use them. I'm using the Xbox controller. I press start. I'm going to quit to the main menu. And then I have to exit accordingly. Smooth moves. We move and groove. So now I could either use the Xbox controller to navigate. Or we could use the um, arcade sticks. Let's do another one. Uh, I did this one, Need for Speed Heat. I'll hold down the A button on the controller. And I don't have any loading things on this. There's no loading animations. This just is launching an executable on its own. So again, using the Xbox controller on this. And again, that's what's great about a PC build compared to a Raspberry Pi build. You, the Raspberry Pi, Raspberry Pi can't touch any of these games. <laughs> but that's also a cool thing with these, you know, PC builds. Yes, Eugene does have a modern gen CPU and all that, so it's playing these games beautifully. I have not tested these games out on a budget beast Dell Optiplex. 
I would imagine it would play it, but I mean, as you can see here, the graphics on these are amazing. And again, always set high intense. I have all these games set to high, all the graphics set to high. The Speed Hunter Showdown is back as Palm City plays host once again to the state's foremost racing exhibition. Each day, thousands of eager. So I'm just going to skip that. Talk to me, Joe. How are we doing? Hang it in there. Good. Just keep your foot on the floor. What's the tea, Richie? There's some real speed in this race, Anna. So this right now is we actual gameplay. I haven't played this game. For here. Come on, guys. Oh, I hit the <laughs> I hit the X button, which is emergency brake. <laughs> Able to change the views. Big thing is just recognize no stutters whatsoever. And again, we owe that to the graphics card. Okay, eyes up. We're I believe we're at 32 gigs control. of RAM. I think uh, you need that. Hey, we've got company on the right. Coming up on the back. Let's see what they got. Serious, he's bad news. We score is big on this one. There's some prime hunting here. Stop quitting, Anna. Neither are we. Yeah, speak for yourself. I'm out. What the hell? Richie! Richie! Did he seriously just bail? Hmm. I mean, yeah, look at that. I'm able to move the camera around. Smooth gameplay, and again, that's 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 just what you get with current gen stuff. Should I hit this cop? <laughs> I don't know. I shouldn't. I guess not. We just have to evade. Okay, I'm I'm doing this. I'm doing the dynamic like camera turns. That's the best thing. I'm gonna hit pause real quick, just to see if I'm able to my settings, game difficulty, graphics. 1080p, 100% resolution, graphic quality, set to auto. I could probably set it to ultra. Let's see how it goes. Same thing, look, set to ultra. No issues. I just, I, I just drove right into that. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Very cool. I mean, there you guys have it. That's Need for Speed Heat. I'm going to exit out now, if I can. Yep, quit to lobby. Again, it is a PC game, so we must exit accordingly like it is a PC game. And we're going to load up the next game. So I'm going to launch up one that definitely Eugene recommended. He told me he was an old school Command and Conquer player. So I do have the regular ones. These are the actual, like, I don't know, Windows XP versions. Mm -hmm. They just released this Command & Conquer Remastered. So I'm going to hold press on this. And basically, this launches an executable where we have to pick which one we want. And I'm using Eugene's mouse. Um, so we'll do, uh, we'll do Red Alert. I never played Command & Conquer, so don't judge. <laughs> but right now, Command & Conquer Remastered. So this is a game that you definitely need a keyboard and mouse for. There's no controllers, there's no nothing with this. Just gonna skip these cutscenes. Reinforcements have arrived. Waiting orders. <laughs> so now like I tested this game before, you can press space 
and it brings like some old school graphics or brings it to like current gen remastered. So I gotta basically take my yes, team, sir. move them all up. Awaiting orders. Affirmative. Affirmative. Yes, sir. Acknowledged. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Ready and affirmative. Very well. Unit lost. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Vehicle report. Affirmative. I can zoom in and out. Vehicle reporting. Yes, sir. Reporting. Affirmative. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Eugene's probably watching me like, oh, Vic, what are you doing? <laughs> Waiting orders. Acknowledged. What's up? I'm there. Yes, sir. Acknowledged. Yes, sir. Affirmative. So again, pretty cool game. Graphics. Acknowledged. On point. Yes, sir. Acknowledged. Mission failed. Oh, mission failed. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> All right. So there you guys have it. That's a quick gameplay on the Command & Conquer Remastered. Uh, so again, Eugene was a big fan of those type of Command & Conquer games. So check this out. For him, I got this called Gears Tactics. Brand new game as Loading well. Complete. Maybe came out about maybe two or three months ago. Um, it's basically the same kind of idea. Uh, it's just using Gears. And I do have Gears 5 on this, which is pretty cool. I'll probably play a little bit of that so you guys could just see the um you know the graphics on it and uh again you let me know what your play style is once eugene told me that he was a command and conquer fan which is a strategy kind of play style i started looking up some strategy set play style games and sure enough gears tactics just came out and i put it up for him so this does need the keyboard and mouse i don't want to get my mouse mixed up with the stream computer and yeah, we're just gonna wait for this to load All right, so I guess you could do a gamepad on this. I haven't played this game, so I'm not too sure even how to play this game. Performance preset. I'm pretty sure we could set it to ultra. Usually on recommended, it'll just figure it out. We could even set this, if anything, to unlimited frames. Minimum frame 60. So again, from what I understood that this game should be just like a Command and Conquer style game. And again, there's a lot of different game types on this. I mean, you got Roller Coaster Tycoon. I was a big Roller Coaster Tycoon fan. Had a, you gotta love Roller Coaster Tycoon. After years of endless war, humanity had finally found peace. Just gonna skip all this. My fellow... Cutscenes are a given. Like, the graphics on a cutscene is always beautiful. Check. Locust troops inbound. Drones. I see them. Okay. Rotate the camera with Q and E. W, A, S, D to move. Okay. Get into cover, Diaz. You forget how to fight in the motor pool? Something like that. I've got a clear line on this drone. Engaging now. Okay, use one to target. Well. <laughs> target Very down. close. This is like a turn-based kind of game. Range. Use one to target, use mouse over them. Space to take the shot. I should have moved up. Damn. Grub's dug in. We need to flank him. Roger that. Moving into position. He's easy pickings now. Tacon gives you more details. Use R to tackle cop Tacon. Okay. All right, not bad. Should have stayed 
underground, Grub. The hammer strikes aren't gonna wait for us. Finish off these grubs so we can get to the CIC. Won't even break a sweat. Very cool. Your history. I need ammo though. Coming through, assholes. Wow. <laughs> All right, let's move. You got a name, soldier? Redburn. Very Red cool. Redburn. I mean, there you go. Gears Come. tactics. Using again the mouse and the keyboard, I could exit out to the desktop. And while we are on the subject of gears, using the Xbox controller now. We're going to launch Gears 5. And that's the big thing. Just a quick note. While this stuff loads up, I'm trying not to cut much. But I do have Rocket Launcher, Hyperspin set for none of those loading screens. That if those give AHK errors, and it's just a nightmare. It's just so much easier to just have it down, and then you're good to go. You could basically see the Play Now joystick thing on Hyperspin just kind of stops. That's the best way to do it. So again, this right now, Gears 5. Please note, you cannot play this game online. But it's got a very good uh, story mode. And again, we're going to be pushing this Ultra settings. All the games are set to auto, but knowing this computer is just set to Ultra. You saw us when we changed it on uh, Need for Speed. It's just, it's, it's, a no, it's a no brainer. It's always set to Ultra. So now again, I am using the Xbox controller now. So that did say press enter as if I was using a keyboard, but I got the Xbox controller. Once you kind of press A or a button on the controller, it then recognizes it as Xbox controller gameplay now all day. All right, so here we go. Uh, let's see if we could do benchmarks. I want to bring up the settings. So options, video, unlimited frame rate. Let's see. Ultra. So we have these set to ultra and high. Let's go into campaign. Start a new one. Gears of War 5. Now, some games in the beginning might take a second to load up because it's trying to probably activate like online mode. Can't play these games online, so just gotta let it go through its thing. Previously on Gears. So I am going to again just skip these cutscenes. Cutscene graphics are always beautiful. It's all about in-game gameplay graphics. That's what matters. All right, control. We're going in. Oh, I'm actually controlling them. Really? I have a name. <laughs> so big thing is just to notice. Here. I mean, control. I mean we do have waterfall, a lot of action on the screen, ultra settings, and it right now is just beautifully smoky, silky smooth on this. Tell us where to go, Control. I'll do my best, but remember, no one's been in that facility for like 25 years. Yeah, that's pretty evident. You're not there to buy a timeshare, you're there to launch an old hammer of Tom prototype. And your intel says one of the silos is still intact, right? Yeah, as far as they can tell. I always just go on my own. He'll handle the launch sequence. Baird even figured out they had a hammer something like My father, 
Before he died, he let Baird in on a few cogs. Gears, gears in that reload. <laughs> it has plenty of them. Hey, fetch. That's cool. Uh, didn't expect there'd still be bodies. Only a handful of us made it off as a little alive. Hey, wolves. Gotta cut through. Okay, let's go. Stay back. We're coming down. Huh, guess who? Dave, send a pulse and let's see what we're dealing with. Ah, there they are. How do you want to do this? I'll take care of this one. Okay, let's put him down! I was supposed to stealth kill it, but I didn't. Oh, I forgot to reload. Should be a way to grab him. Only one left. All right, that's all of them. I guess you wait. You can like grab him over the, the table. Is there a burial site? Is active? Shit. Okay, condors in the air. Let me know if you need reinforcements. We get it handled for now. Delta out. Come on, we gotta find one of those silos. Assuming the swarm haven't ripped them all apart. Hey, I think we can get down this way. No. <laughs> Shit. Sorry. I'm trying to skip. Okay, these headaches. I'm okay, alright? Let's just find a silo. For the record, you don't seem okay. It's too many active hives. Again, as you can see, no stuttering whatsoever. Okay. Crap. I got you. I need ammo. Alright, got them all. Alright, there you guys have it. That is Gears of War 5. Again, we're going to be able to exit out, quit the game, just like that. Uh, so real quick, I'm going to go back into the desktop. I'm going to go into online accessible. We're going to go to Battle.net, and I will quickly just launch uh, Warzone. So I do have these files right here is on a C drive. Eugene's got his C drive as an SSD. So it will boot up and play these games A-OK. -okay. Let's see, since the last time, would you like the game to configure itself? Yes. I originally am old school. I am an old school Call of Duty player. Uh, Call of Duty. I am an old school uh, Counter Strike player. I haven't played. Um, 
I haven't really played this uh, with the keyboard and mouse, but I'm basically going to sign up right now for a quick thing and I'll be right back. Alright, so we're finally into uh, Warzone right now. Uh, let's just see real quick as far as graphic settings, setup, full screen, we're set to high. High graphics on this. Okay, cool. Um, we'll do quads, I guess. Just so we get some action on this. I usually play on the PlayStation, but um, next gen, I'm not going to be getting a PS5 on this, so I will definitely be uh, moving to PC. Again, I do play Counter Strike, um, so uh, I'm, f I'm good with the PC. Uh, it's just more about uh, you know, game wise. Uh, right now, keep in mind, Eugene's PC, we are using the Wi Fi dongle. We are not hardwired in right now. And I don't have my mic set up for the team. Sounds like I had uh, <laughs> the, the mic audio going to the bar top. Grab some target practice while you can. We're deploying soon. Come on, really? <laughs> That's sad. Get up! Enemy dropping into the AO! Better hear my wife. Playtime's over, mate. You're going to the war zone. All right. So one quick game. Again, Wi-Fi dunk. 40 terabyte beast. High graphic settings. <laughs> I'm very repetitive on that, but it definitely shows. Set a drop point for your team, soldier. So as you can see. Gas is closing on your position. Suggest you get moving. Is anyone near this? Again, I haven't I haven't played this on a PC. <laughs> Supply box marked. Secure the package. I'm not a fan of the shotguns. I got one. There's no way he's alone. Damn. Oh, 
Oh, definitely gotta get used to the keyboard on this. Objectives updated. Move to the next location. Alright, let's see. Uh, how do I supply it? Oh, yeah. Objectives updated. Move to the next location. Teammate down, teammate down. So as you can see right now, no graphic stutters. Teammate knocked down though. Oh, I like this on the PC to be honest. Primary objective accomplished. All supply boxes found. Teammates done in. They're returning to base. Sorry, we'll buy him back. They're losing ground. Oh shit. <laughs> Trying to find out how to secure the package. How to uh knife. Damn it. Don't you hate that? A simple, like... I hate that, like a simple, like, um... Thing. Can't even get done. Alright, I'm not a fan of camping, so... We're in the safe zone. I'm just gonna leave the group. Watch for enemy. Oh, there it was, E. I said I'm totally just ditching the team just to get some gameplay. Objectives update. Move to the next location. SMG here. Go here. Oof. Oof, oof. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I mean, you guys have it. That is Call of Duty Warzone on Eugene's beast of a PC. So we exited out uh, real quick while I'm on the desktop. The only one game. Um, I couldn't get anywhere. It had to be launched within Windows, and it's right here inside the taskbar. That is Forza Horizon 4. Uh, there is no game executable on this, and it's actually a process to get this. Um, but we got it. I'm going to basically turn on my Xbox controller. And we right now are going to run Forza 4. This has all the updates, the Legoland thing and all that, so... A lot of the games are current updated ones. I did also just update the, um, uh, what was it? Snow Runner? Snow Runner is like a slow paced driving game where you're like a big truck and you help trucks out of snow. So that just got an update. Again, using the Xbox controller just to check it out. So we're going to do ultra settings on this. And I'll press save. And 
I think the beginning of Forza has like this kind of intro to everything. So I tested this game on my uh, test bench PC, bought it to Eugene's PC, and now, as you can see, this is really the first run. Um, I'm pretty sure it's going to smoke <laughs> my test bench, but it's always got to start somewhere. So again, using Xbox controller on this. E-brake, got it. I'm not a fan of that rewind feature. I don't know why they have it, but... Here's what I see. I see a festival that never ends. So again, cutscene graphics are always amazing, but it's all about the in-game graphics. It's not your dream holiday anymore. It's your dream life. That's the horizon I see. Let me show you. Welcome to autumn. This is really cool how they did this. So this ends. is in-game right now. Don't this is actual anywhere. gameplay Horizon footage. Here we go. Here so it's even got a rumble feature on the Xbox controller. Okay. <laughs> we got it. We got it. Definitely this game on a steering wheel, that's that's a legit combo right there. I was very excited to see about the Lego thing, it was pretty cool. You have to just go through this kind of intro. Again, no stutter whatsoever. Just more about my driving. <laughs> now it kind of puts you in like a different car. So in game right now. A little icy on the road right now. I'm not gonna hit that rewind. That rewind feature just... I get it if you're gonna be in like a big crash, but... Like I can rewind. It doesn't matter because I'm still crashing through it. <laughs> I'm also not big on uh, letting off the brake, the gas. <laughs> Oh, I said I missed the checkpoint. I wasn't even looking.
Guys, this will be easy. Just don't miss the checkpoints and let's go. So definitely cool. I mean, next gen stuff for the horizon. I'll uh, I'll come back when I get into the Lego part. All right, so after like the whole intro, you actually get to race around and drive around. You get to pick your car. Looks like you have to complete a couple of races to like unlock the whole Lego speed thing and all that. Um, but it's pretty cool. There you guys have it. That is Forza. So I'm gonna exit out to desktop and press yes. And basically now we are back into the desktop. So again, a lot of online accessible games. Um, I have not played Grand Theft Auto, but if I do go Epic Games Launcher, if I wanted to play online, I could just go to Epic Games Launcher here and we could just launch Grand Theft Auto 5. See, that's the thing. See, this game, for example, it needs this Rockstar game launcher. So imagine trying to launch this within Hyperspin. There's too much action going on, so it's kind of pointless. And as you can see, Grand Theft Auto 5. Again, this is the Epic Games um, version. Basically, online accessible. Grand Theft Auto 5, an amazing game, just being ported also to the PlayStation 5. I mean, I definitely can't wait to see what they do here. But as you can see, there is online mode. Or you can go right into story mode. That's the big deal about this specific one from Epic Games. Uh, you will be able to play online. The one I have inside of Hyperspin is uh, its own separate file. So it you won't be able to play that online. So I right now I'm using the Xbox controller to navigate. Cool. So I've got the Photo 5 launched. We are online. It kind of started out with this diamond casino thing. I haven't played Grand Theft Auto in a long time, super long time. So let's just see real quick if I press escape. Just want to go into the settings menu. Let's see how our graphics are looking. Texture quality sets are very high. So that was, looks like it was manually set like that. Oh, very high. That's the highest that you could get. <laughs> so let's bring it back. I mean, again, I haven't played Grand Theft Auto in a long time. Just try to go into maybe just taking a couple cars. Again, playing this on like a PC. I had this on the PS4. I mean, the PC just blows this out the water. But again, big shout out to Eugene's PC because I am in the middle of the street. <laughs> That's not a good idea. <laughs> yeah, let's take this. So as you can see, no stutter whatsoever. Grand Theft Auto 5. Oh crap. <laughs> I meant to uh I meant to change the the camera angle. Oh my car is gonna make such a mess. <laughs> I forgot how you go into the change camera. Oh but then again I am online, maybe it's Oh, that's in. I'm just gonna be sure not to jump out of the car like I did before. Nice response, see that? I mean, again, this PC, Eugene's got a hell of a PC on his hands. And it just blows my mind every time. And again, we are playing Grand Theft Auto 5 online. 
All right, I mean, there you go. There you guys have it. I don't have to go too uh, long into uh, it. It's just, you could just see even the graphics on the cars and all that. 